See from ponies. Ponies on my field. Take two, now the horses have disappeared. Hey guys, James here again from Replica Reviews and today it's not going to be a, an actual review by any means, we're just going to do a quick overview, but we have the new sub 12 foot pound FX Impact. Now this one here is in 177, um, sort of my preferred calibre of choice. Uh, and I just wanted to show you just sort of a couple of things I've done. I've had a lot of questions about what I've put on it, um, what adjustability we've got and things like that. But as I say, this isn't going to be a full review, um, this is the first time I've been out during the day. Um, well basically in December, so it's been uh, been quite a while since I've been out and actually been able to see what's going on around. So, you know, let's start with the basics. Now obviously the rifle itself comes pretty standard. Um, there are a couple of key differences. Obviously a lot of you would have seen the videos on like Ted's Holdover, uh, Matt from South Africa as well, and they've got all the adjustment in the world. Now obviously for the non-firearm certificate versions of this, non-FACs, um, they have had to kind of lock down on a lot of the adjustments. So you don't get to adjust your regulator and you don't get to adjust uh, your, uh, your hammer buffer as well. Um, but what you do get still is the power wheel that's on this side of the rifle. Um, I haven't really experimented with it too much just yet. Um, but, you know, for working inside buildings and stuff, to be able to turn down the power is actually going to be quite helpful. Now, bits and pieces wise, what have I put on it? Um, now we've got a replica. This is a genuine imitation fake, so to speak, of an Atlas bipod really nice just clips down and gives you that kind of traditional look that we've all been uh, used to when you've seen Ted's videos now it's not as good as a genuine atlas but I didn't you know I wasn't in a position to uh, to sink out 250 pounds on a bipod contrary to popular belief locally you know I don't earn millions of pounds um, doing these videos so much like everybody else when you go out and working and things I, it's a lot of money to sink onto a bipod so this one here is just a replica uh, and to be honest I've had it out today uh, a couple of evenings as well with the night vision i've got the atnx site that we've had bolted on top um, and yeah there's no wobbles there's no creaks i mean the bottom bit here can get loose occasionally and that just allows you to pivot the uh, the gun around but nothing too crazy now on top as i'm sure you probably would have guessed been one of my rifles is a hawk sidewinder now this is exactly the same as anything i've ever used before um, and yeah i mean cracking scopes for the money you cannot beat them We've held that all together with some sports match mounts. The SP2 um, bubble level is still on its way. So unfortunately, we just got the sports match mounts. And these are the adjustable ones. This is the first time I've gone for the adjusters. Um, so it'd be interesting to see, obviously, what I want to try and do is adjust it on the mounts rather than the scope so that we can move the planes up and just give us a little bit more kind of uh, reach at the longer ranges. So that was my reason for using those. Now, one thing I did quite like, um, it's been widely documented on sort of uh, forums, Facebook, that kind of thing, is obviously the impact is coming with different types of grips, different magazines. Now, I'm really pleased to say that mine, when it arrived from ASI, came with a Hogue grip. It's a rubberized grip. It's really quite nice and comfy. And it's also come with a high capacity magazine as well, um, which I think is about 20, 21 shots, which is nuts. You're never actually going to have to reload your magazine unless you're having an amazing night. Um, and then, you know, obviously at that point, you don't really mind. Um, so yeah, that was a really nice addition. I know when they first started coming into the country, people were complaining that they were coming with a lower capacity. Well, brand new from ASI, it's come with the high cap. Now, one thing I have kind of, you know, kind of gone into a little bit over on Facebook is the shroud. The shroud obviously comes in short, which is quite loud. In fact, uh, I'll just point them off in a safe direction. Well, I say loud, it's pretty quiet really, isn't it? So we'll reload, put the shroud out. There's, there's literally no noise at all. Um, and obviously just for the purposes of safety, safety catches on this side, really nice and easy to use. Now I will be doing a full video, obviously I want to do a review um, on this one and I really want to do it properly. Um, so I just wanted to just kind of give a quick overview of the gun and just answer a couple of the commonly asked questions. I'm not sure when the video will get done, it'll probably be in the new year, um, with work, um, I'm on call um, as well in the evenings and things, so it is difficult to come out. Uh, as I say, we're quite lucky today that uh, we've had a bit of mist and ice, um, but it's burning off to be quite a nice day. So as soon as I do get a chance, that'll all be up, um, I'll probably do it in instalments as well, because I want to go into full tests on the power wheel, different pellets, taking the barrel out. Um, I'm still waiting on my 22 barrel, so as soon as that comes in, we can do different sort of calibre swaps and things. Um, so yeah, really excited to bring this gun to you. Obviously, if you want to keep up with some pictures, short videos and things, feel free to go over onto our Facebook page. Um, that's growing. I think we've got like 960 people on there now. 
Um, so I post on there a lot more regularly. Um, so, you know, pictures, short videos, that kind of thing. So if you want to keep up to date until the full review comes out, feel free to check us over on Facebook. Simply type in replica reviews on the bar and we'll pop straight up. Obviously, if you want to subscribe to our channel as well, four and a half thousand people uh, and still growing. So feel free to go and check out our page as well. Obviously, there'll be plenty more videos, plenty more reviews. Um, and of course, as per usual, if you've got any questions, any comments, feel free to put them in the box below. I will do my best to get back to every single one of you as quick as I can. As long as it's something I can reply to, then obviously I'll give you uh, the time of day and I'll reply. Um, so yeah, what's left to say is until the full review comes out, guys, thanks for watching.